Welcome to the Customer Analytics Roadmap video series. Angos delivers powerful approaches to turn information into actionable business decisions and competitive advantage with our market-leading predictive analytics software and cloud solutions. The Customer Analytics Roadmap is comprised of eight stages allowing for a complete customer lifecycle analysis of your marketing, CRM, and customer intelligence. This eight-part on-demand video series explores each of the stages of customer analytics, including customer segmentation, customer acquisition, upsell and cross-sell, next product recommendation, voice of the customer, customer retention, loyalty and churn, product segmentation, and customer lifetime value. This fourth module will guide you through next product recommendation. Next product recommendation techniques aim to promote additional products and services to existing customers when the time is right. When a company has many products to offer, they have to determine which of those products should be offered to a customer based on existing products the customer owns. This table takes a close look at five customers of an electronics company. The customer in the first row has all of the company's products. There is no reason to send them offers to buy additional products. The customer in the second row has all products except B. Evidently, the next offer should be for product B since it is the only product the customer doesn't have. However, for the remaining customers, it's unclear which product should be offered. This is where the next product recommendation model can help. It works by building an individual acquisition model for each product. The scores can be normalized using ranks, and those rankings are applied to each customer. The product that ranks highest with the customer would be the next product to recommend to them. Building several individualized models works when the number of products is small, say under 10 products. However, when the number of products becomes large, other techniques such as market basket analysis are more appropriate. Next product recommendations help companies continue generating revenue from their existing customer base. It is defined as selling products and services to customers that already have some of the company's products. Hence, it involves offering a specific set of products and services to customers that the company already knows a lot about. The product recommendations made to one customer are based on products other customers already have. For example, if customer A has products 1 and 3, and customer B has products 1, 2, and 3, we can recommend product 2 to customer A. For each product you want to recommend, you build a propensity model. A propensity to purchase model calculates the likelihood that a customer will purchase a product or service offering. The likelihood of purchase for each product can be modeled in different ways. Models that can be used include decision trees, logistic regression, and multi-layer neural network. No model is decidedly better than another. Model performance will depend on the type and quality of data available. Building individual models for each product or service is the best technique to use when there are a small number of products that can be offered. In cases where there are many offerings to choose from, market basket analysis is the best method to use. This technique will be discussed in a future module. You can generate several models per product and select the model that will have the most positive impact for each. The models will be used to score your customers and the scores will provide a ranking for each product, indicating the order in which the customer will be most likely to purchase them. The highest ranked product will be the next best recommendation. In addition, models built on past data can be deployed to score new data and generate future product recommendations. This concludes the fourth in the eight-part video series, Customer Analytics Roadmap. The Customer Analytics Roadmap is comprised of eight stages allowing for a complete customer lifecycle analysis of your marketing, CRM, and customer intelligence. Thank you for your interest and for viewing this fourth in this eight-part video series on the Customer Analytics Roadmap. Please join us for the next module in the series on customer retention. If you have questions as you progress through the video series, please send an email to info at angos.com. You can also access more information by visiting us on the web at www.angos.com.